Hey everybody, welcome back. Today I'm going to do something I put off for a whole year. And uh, this is a Amazon Basics fountain pen. I have not opened this for a year. Anyway, you know, when I bought this thing, I meant to do this video and then life happened. Okay, I stopped the time lapse because I did not know this thing was going to come in such a nice box for 10 bucks. Hey, uh, this is the sort of thing that I don't usually keep. Depends on how it looks in there. Maybe I could use it to keep all my pens. Here we go. Oh, it goes this way. And it has some instructions. Who's going to read that? Anyway, uh, hmm. That is a pretty small one. <laughs> that is, uh, these are small. That is really small. I guess they want to sell ink. I wonder if the re if the uh, resupply. Uh, I'm gonna have to check that and see if they come in this size as well. But the pen itself is uh, looks uh, very businesslike, almost military style. And uh, there it is right there, Amazon Basics. Let's see if I can focus in on that for you. Yeah, there it is, Amazon Basics. Really pretty. It's, uh, it doesn't feel too heavy. It looks heavy, but it doesn't feel as heavy as it looks. Let's open it up. I don't, I think it's an unscrew. Of course, I could read the instructions. Okay, that's a lot of thread. Okay, let's try that again. It is a pull. <laughs> oh, it's so pretty. Let's try this again. It has M on there. That's all that it has. For some medium, that's what that means. So that's a medium nib. Let's see if this thing posts. Yep. Yeah. That post on there real good. So, I said I was going to put the noodlers in here, but I think I'm not. Um, think how long that is. Yeah, this might be very proprietary. If that only goes there. Nope, there's something. That's probably another cartridge. and come off all right I'm gonna read the instructions okay I figured it out there is a third one of these because I can tell by looking at the bottom they look very similar so I suspect there is a third one in here and it's jammed down in there I'm gonna have to get myself something to get that out of there Okay, that's a little bit of a learning curve for me and a lesson for us all. Do not put any of these things down in here like this. It, it got jammed in down there and I almost did not get it out. Uh, but my tweezers were able to get around the back side of it and it pushed it over and then I could feel it had, had gotten loose. So... Anyway, it looks to me like it's another of the same. When I look at it uh, with my light, it looks like it's black ink or blue-black. So I'm going to put one in and see what it looks like. All right, I want you to see what a mess this is. This is a big problem. Why can't we have an industry standard? One size cartridge fits all. Everybody's has to be different. One thing nice about this, no cartridge. The entire pen is a cartridge. It has its own plunger. When this wears out, throw it away, I guess. But I don't think this is going to ever wear out. And even if it did wear out, all you have to do is take your plunger needle and refill it with that. This is what I use all the time anyway. One, two, three. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. 
it's in, it's, you, you can't get it cockeyed like this. So it doesn't feel like it's all the way in. But once this goes on, then I assume it's going to be So that does post. And this is the Amazon Basics. Probably not ready yet. The nib does feel nice. It doesn't feel scratchy at all. I don't think it went all the way down. I think the check ball, there is a check ball in there and it's still there. So I did not press it all the way down. Try this again. Oh, there we go. That was a good snap. That had to be it. That was so hard to press, you couldn't do it sideways like this. You really want it anchored. Okay. It's got a nice feel. I mean, it, it feels like a really nice pen in your hand. Kind of reminds me of this one here. Oh, there's my ink. All right, let's try this again. That's a, a lot of ink flow. Amazon Basics. M for medium. Let's try a fast streak. Nice. Let's try the back side. Yep, you can do some fine lines with the back side. It's very consistent. Like if you were doing bushes. Yeah, that's nice. I like that. That reminds me of my pilot tip. This is this is this is a stout feeling pen, and it really dumps the ink out. All right, now that I have it, that clips on very nice. Oh, let's put some ink in this one. So as a final, can I recommend this pen? Uh, if you want something uh, for 10 bucks, yeah, this is a good pen. I think this one here is actually a better one for art, but this is still my go-to. I think that this one overrules all the pens that I have. It's The nib on it has always been my favorite, uh, but the nib on this is really smooth for writing. So I would, I would recommend this more for writing, this one and this one for art. Well, thanks for coming along on the unboxing and the testing and comparison of the Amazon Basics fountain pen. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.